So we didn't need to rush across town. Definitely found a winner here. The gunpowder and the explosives look down there, it's a door to You couldn't get a better view. We're gonna try and find our way off this mountain because my phone is no longer working. It's called Parthenon. And I think I ordered it right. finally made it to our apartment. Ferry actually got in at 6 a.m. but they let us stay in our cabin till 8 so we slept in. Minoan is definitely a cut above the other ferry lines. We walked a half hour to the nearest Starbucks. Because we weren't able to check into our Airbnb until 2. Just started getting some editing done. Post from the Airbnb contacted us at 9 a.m. and said, hey the apartment's ready, come now. We packed up our stuff and piled in an Uber for 14 bucks. We got to the apartment and there were no keys in the lockbox. The person that was still in the apartment that wasn't checking out till later, what a mess. So we didn't need to rush across town. But anyways, we met, found another nice Starbucks. Another uh, Starbucks, another half hour the other yep. opposite way. We got to see the, the apartment. It was beautiful. It's a great walk around here. This is a wonderful neighborhood to stay in. So without further ado, yes. everybody's favorite home shower will show the home. <laughs> then I'm taking a shower. I am so sweaty. <laughs> Front room. Look at this lovely balcony. This lovely garden on the balcony. And we ate across the street while we were waiting and the place was fantastic. We'll eat there again. Yeah, that was place right there. I can tell. A bathroom with a washer dryer combo. The dryer is a pretty big deal. Uh, bedroom. Feels like it's gonna be comfortable. And then into the flickering kitchen, which I'm gonna probably have an issue. Yeah, we'll just, yeah, okay. there we go. And then there's a little tiny balcony outside where if you don't wanna uh, dry your clothes, you can just hang them out there. It has a microwave. It's got everything we want. And now I'm going in there to take a shower. <laughs> Bye. It was a wonderful travel day, but pretty tiring. So we will catch you tomorrow the next day. Peace. While we left the camera at home and didn't do any vlogging the first couple days, we wasted no time jumping face first into the local food scene. We got spit roasted pork, potatoes, spinach, and stuffed peppers. It's not expensive. Definitely found a winner here for the dining options in Athens. Are you going to make that your final answer? I read the menu wrong. It was good, but it was not a cheap place. We saw a little sign that says recommended by Rick Steves after we had already gotten in there, which was a good indication that it was probably going to be overpriced, and that was the case. So, won't recommend it. Loud in Athens. We also found some incredible Indian food at the Indian Chef Athens. Those are our pictures. They should really hire us to do their marketing. Today we're going to explore Athens. This is right outside our Airbnb. They love us here. In reality, though, all the people we've met have been really nice and welcoming and friendly. Especially at our favorite breakfast place right here. And they have great food. Oh, yeah. I see a train. just loaded orange trees everywhere. And apparently, you no longer have to eat your probiotic yogurt. You can put it on your face. <laughs> Athens is a really old city. It has been continuously inhabited for over 3,000 years. Wow. Our first stop is Philopapas Hill. <laughs> I know I butchered that. From the top, it's supposed to have an amazing view of the Acropolis and all of Athens. So this is an amazing view, but we just learned the hole that's right there, this is where they were able to uh, shoot off a cannon and destroy um, a big chunk because the during war during war attack. yes the attack <laughs> I'm terrible at these stories but there was gunpowder and the they just so happened or knew about uh, hit the gunpowder and it exploded a big chunk that is pretty impressive off we go okay bye We have definitely been a little lazy in our touring thus far of Athens. We've just kind of been getting caught up. We just realized that we haven't been 
in one place for more than a week since I think split. And that was like seven countries ago. Today we're back on our filming track. We're really gonna pack a lot in. But I gotta say, if you're only here for a few hours and you only have one thing to do, come to the top of this hill. You couldn't get a better view. It is absolutely breathtaking. Wow. Oh, <laughs> we're going to the deaf man's cave. Tomb? Something. We attempt to find it. Why do they call it the deaf man's cave? Because apparently a deaf man lived there. Brilliant naming. Yeah. Like that. Oh my goodness, look down there, it's a tortoise. They said it was hard to find. No kidding, there's no signs anywhere. They said take the stairs. We found them. Come on. <laughs> This was only excavated in 2009. Oh wow, found it. Yay! <laughs> Next stop, Delphine's Gate. That's really butchered. <laughs> Not much left of this one. We're gonna try and find our way off this mountain because I working hopefully we'll find an exit <laughs> anybody who uses google offline maps let us know if they work for you they have just been so hit or miss for us more and more we're kind of switching over to maps.me so let us know what you think of them Ooh. anyways off to get food wait see something oh or maybe off to do something else i'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete i'm dancing through Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet, I'm gonna rise up. No, I won't stop. It is my time. Because mm -hmm. I know what it's like to be broke. What it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way Oh wow, that's good That is really good I'm strolling down the street with a little Starbucks break But uh, what are we off to see now? Hayden's Gate Hadrian's Gate yeah, That's it And we just happen to be walking by the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier Whoa, is that dropped the camera? But we actually have that as the one thing on our list for tomorrow. They're supposed to do some special stuff? Yeah, on Sunday. Obviously today's Saturday. We stumbled upon the National Guard and apparently it's free, so we're gonna walk around it. The Royal Garden was commissioned by Queen Amalia in 1838 and later renamed the National Garden. American novelist Henry Miller wrote of the park, it remains in my memory like no other park I have known. It is the quintessence of a park, the thing one feels sometimes in looking at a canvas or dreaming of a place one would like to be in and never finds. Well, we weren't even planning on coming to this. It's one of the highlights of the day. It's beautiful. There's so many different birds and it's peaceful. This would definitely be the place to hang out. Oh, yes. Oh, more stuff. See you there. There's just these remnants of ancient Greece all over Athens. It's really cool and well preserved. It cost eight years to go in. I want to look over the fence. And that's the Temple of Zeus. We're at <laughs> the arches, Hadrian's Arches, Hadrian's Gate. And there's a couple more things I wanted to say about Athens. One, the Athens was named after Athena and her temple's on the very top. It's called Parthenon. She is the goddess of wisdom and of warfare. Athena, Greek goddess of war. I'm also god of wisdom. Okay, great, perfect. Then, you know, give us your wisdom. This is where democracy was gave birth. They voted on everything. They even voted on whether they were gonna go, uh, go to war or not, which I thought was interesting. Could be why uh, they had a downfall because not very many people are gonna wanna vote to go to war. <laughs> Even when people are shelling. I think that was before shelling, honey. But they had um, 
this big brown things, uh, cannons. I think the Greeks had cannons, man. I'll have to check on that. <laughs> By education. <Ooh. laughs> Them Californians are terrible at educating people. Oh, but I did find out something really fascinating about the gate. There's wording on each side of the gate. On one side said, this is Athens, the ancient city of Theseus. And the other side says, this is the city of Hadrian and not of Theseus. I thought that was cool. That's pretty neat. All right, off we go. I saw this on a YouTube channel. Um, it was a lamb shank, which is my absolutely favorite thing in the world. I cooked for four hours, and I think I ordered it right. It, it took a second, but we finally figured it out. <laughs> I need to get into it more to tell you more flavors, but this is really good. Oh, potatoes. Nothing is over seasoned. It's all seasoned to perfection. Oh, this is really worth $20. Correcto. Mm, and moussaka. After that incredible dinner, we closed out the evening with a moonlight stroll around the base of the Acropolis. Monument for the Unknown Soldier, and every hour they change the guards. But on Sunday at 11 o'clock, as you can see with the crowds, there's a big procession. I probably come 45 minutes early. We're here 15 minutes early, and it is packed. <laughs> There always seems to be a lot going on in Athens, and we enjoyed almost all of it. Later that same evening. What you doing? I was trying to figure out where we're going next, but... I kind of like to go back to Thailand. I would too, but it's a long ways. Please! I'll, I'll find tickets. And that's how we make decisions. Got them. Never underestimate a properly motivated man. We found some amazing business class tickets. On Saudi Airlines from Athens to Bangkok via Jetta. Hey, it's, <laughs> it's busy in Athens. For less than $600 a person, that includes access to the business class lounge in Jetta, Saudi Arabia. Which we just looked at and wow. We'll be doing a review of that lounge for sure. And eating a lot. <laughs> So, we're pretty excited for that trip. I'm excited. The layover is 10 hours. Looking at the lounge, I am not disappointed in the least to be spending 10 hours there though. No. Now it's time to pack because we leave tomorrow at uh, 10 a.m. Yeah, he's packing. I enjoy packing. And I don't. And he is so good at it and it stresses me out. So, I put everything out and he packs it and I don't have the stress that I used to have. You thank the army for that. <laughs> See you at the airport. Keep drinking this coffee. Leave <laughs> the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>